change of plans for today. I realized when I woke up, which was probably like eight, nine o'clock, because I went to bed at two Vegas time here. Got six hours of sleep, and if I would have left right then and there, I would have gotten to the Grand Canyons with maybe about an hour to spare, and then I have to come back. That's with like no stops. Uh, that would have been pushing it. So, especially in this heat, it wore me out yesterday. That's a whole eight, almost nine hours of riding. Just plain riding, too. So I couldn't make it work. But I grabbed some breakfast and lunch, pretty much lunch. I'm gonna hop back on the bike, head to the Las Vegas sign to see if I can take a picture with the bike and the sign, and then go over to Red Rock, Harley Davidson, uh, meet up with uh, Brandy, who's a new friend of mine, haven't seen for quite some time, when we met up at Flat Out Friday in Milwaukee, so coming to visit her here, she's hopefully gonna take me out on a little ride, and then I gotta bring her back to Eagle Rider, four or six, so. All right, let's get on the road. It's too freaking hot, it's like 106. I'm gonna get up to 111 today crazy for doing this. <laughs> yep. 106. It's gonna get up to 111. Whew. Okie dokie. Let's get you unlocked here. Nobody stole the bike, so that's a good thing, right? <laughs> that, and then I also locked Okay, right in the strip, in the daylight. <laughs> and I realized I should have put some sunscreen on these. I'm gonna have some fantastic sunburn patches on my leg. Oh man, yeah, no thank you. Tip. If you want to get to the here, I'm gonna put my helmet down. If you want to get a picture with the sign, where is it? Somewhere over there. I don't even know. The Las Vegas sign. Head to Las Vegas Harley, and you have the sign and the Harley sign. And there's no part. There's nobody there. So there you would have had to wait like five. No, even more than that. There was like 20 some people there waiting for pictures. So, in the best of both worlds. All right, let's get on the road to Red Rock. Oh my gosh, so I haven't even been at the dealership here at Red Rock for probably more than 15 minutes and I am afraid to sit on my bike right now. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. All right, where's my gloves? All right, so Brandy just got out off of work. We're gonna go get some lunch because I'm starving. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah. No joke here. I need to invest in like a cooling vest or a mesh jacket. Not this very old. Probably like eight years old. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna cook my butt right now. <laughs> I don't want to get on it. Yesterday I had oh that is that is hot, nice and toasty.
something's going on with my bike. Like I don't have the the throttle power is what I did before. And I don't feel like I'm in sixth gear. I don't I don't understand. It's funny how your attitude changes when you're riding with someone else compared to just yourself. Like I am a cruiser all day long. We're riding with this lady, she rides. <laughs> and so, like my whole attitude and riding completely did a 360. <laughs> and I don't know if this bike can handle it. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I love it though. Finding all lady riders, women riders that I can and riding with them all over the country is pretty cool to say that I've done or starting to do I should say. Going up. <laughs> Turn around then? Yeah. Okay. Brandy said that, I was like, oh, we are legitimately on a mountain. <laughs> I had to catch myself for a second, like, this is awesome. So we had some lunch. I'm gonna head back to the dealership. I gotta drop this baby back off before six o'clock. And yeah, I'm not sure where the night's gonna take me. I might go out to dinner with the girls, her and her friends. I really don't have any other plans before I have to leave to go to the airport tomorrow. Which is unfortunate. I wish I could stay longer. More of a reason to come back. Like, I would spend all day up here. It's perfect riding weather up here. But once you get down to that desert, it's hot. It's a completely different feel up here in the mountains. So yeah, cute little montage, riding back down. Thanks guys for following along and we'll see you guys in the next one. Ride safe.